what I realized, I mean, the, I didn't know what I want. I, at that time, I knew what I don't want. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I started painting because I didn't want connection with any connection with architects that had so much ego, a low frequency <laughs> ego. And, you know, they were very known in the market and I was attracted to them because they were very known, but for the, I was attracted for the wrong reason, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I, I've learned from them and I realized after three months in India, I realized I don't want that shit anymore. I want to be treated, you know, honorably. I want to be to paid honorably. I want to be... <laughs> And it's it's always something that I can receive from from out from the external uh, circles only if I respect myself. If I could respect myself, I'll be treated with respect. All right. It's only you know the, the environment shows showed me, and it's a wonderful tool to look at the environment and understand that it's a mirror that can show me. In the beginning, what I don't want, and then I kind of more flourish, and I I want. I start acting from what I want, you know, not from what I don't want. So I started by knowing that I don't want this, uh, and I did sculptures with architects. I didn't want this world, this this frequency, low frequency environment. And I just quit it and started painting, you know, that's how it happened. I just started painting. <laughs> nice. You know, and I painted, basically, I, I looked at the paintings and I, I saw so much beauty and so much colors in them. I said, where is it in me? I mean, I don't see it. Because my life were miserable. But when I painted, it looked so vibrant. So I kind of bridge that this gap and today i'm i'm the most happy that i ever been it doesn't mean that i'm sometimes very very depressed very very lonely very very but i see it i don't identify myself with it and that's why it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter i don't believe that it goes totally um you know, the patterns, you just, every time we kind of take out a layer, another layer of the pattern, because being depressed is a pattern, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and now I paint out of something that I want, but I, I did paint all kinds of stories from the Bible, which were meaningful for me, consciously wise, uh, now I paint the a few. My my last paintings basically are more like mandalas, which something happens to me from the inside and it spreads outside. Now I'm, I'm working on a painting, which is basically a mandala. Um, and I feel that there is going to be some kind of change. I have eyes about going to oil, which I was you know, oil paintings, oil paints, mm -hmm. or oil color that I was, I'm still afraid of. And the voice painting, which I find myself more and more interested in, and I'm kind of working on a, on a program or maybe a show or performance or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I'm just having Today fun. I That's paint, the idea. I study uh, the daft uh, drum. You know, it's a, it's a, okay. it's a, it's a very nice Persian drum that I really, really like, and I study it autodidactly. You know, I kind of uh, took something from the internet, and as a musician, as a, as a, a professional musician, I just start and. Let's see where it will, where I will, I will be taken, you know, but I don't want any teacher that uh, I'll uh, imitate. You know, I want to, to find the music of, of my, my music with the Duff 
very intimately. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you want to give to others with your with your painters? What I mean, do you want to give something to others, or is just, or do you just paint for yourself? Well, I do paint for myself. That's the first thing that, of course, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I asked myself this question a few times during my, let's say, career of of art. Um, Today, I kind of uh, realized that if you understand the language of my paintings, you can receive, first of all, like that's one angle, you can really receive a lot of information of how to hire your state or how to have more perspective on your life or how to be a woman and not a wounded child. It depends uh, which paintings you look at, you know, but in general, I have a few motives that are coming that are in, in most of my paintings. Um, so basically that's it. You know, the idea is to bring a message, to, to bring, to, to paint a message that can create a state. It's not a, a, an art like it was. For me, the art that was is, is done with. You know, today for me, art is something that um, that create a higher state, a higher emotional state in you. And the moment that you looked at it in a certain way, you have the ability to transform yourself. And basically it's it's a bomb of energy in your house. You know, I wouldn't put Picasso on my wall because Picasso resonated a broken woman. And when you see, you know, it was very, the technical and the, all this stuff of, of, of explaining how great the art is and everything. I don't think it will be in the new world. In the new world, you'll go to the painting and something will happen to you and you'll feel very close to the painting or you feel very, very apart or disconnected from the painting. The new world will not have all kinds of Picassos that the best, I don't, the the world best, you know, the word, the consciousness of best I'm speaking about something that very interests me and I kind of even uh, research about it to understand what is the difference between the old world of art and the new world of art. And for me, I represent the new world of art. There is not good and better and best and there are multiple layers and, and, and colors of different painters and different artists, and they all have the, uh, you know, I, I respect all of them. Okay. I cannot respect a, a Pablo Picasso more than Van Gogh or than me. Yes. You know? The idea that there are artists there that are in galleries and museums. I wanna tell you that when I was in San Francisco, I was offered by a treasurer, or I don't know how you call it, to bring my art to the, uh, it was once the Young Museum or the, and or the, not, not, not and or, and the Jewish Museum of Art. She was connected, she was connected to both of them and she offered me, she said, she told me, you can get in if you really want. It just, it's a matter of money. Okay. Amazing. (laughs) 
And it's not, you know, it it it, it was sent to me. I don't know why. I mean, this this content of information of vibes or frequency was sent to me. You know, it's amazing. I mean, how can you, it's so dishonorable. It's so not, non, there's so much non-integrity in that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, now that you are speaking about the best art and that the society admires some kind of painters and they really pay a lot of money for certain paintings, you know? like Leonardo da Vinci, yes, and you can pay like huge amounts of money, yes. And so something interesting is like maybe they are, they value the painting because of the technique and also because of the history behind the painting and also because some secret societies or some people a place the value in that uh, painters oh no and so as i understand it most of the people that bought paintings for millions of dollars were it was a strategy for them to launder their black money okay wow okay wow. and that which is again it's their system they can do whatever they want to do but I cannot see this painting because it stays in the yacht of someone very famous. Yes. And I cannot see the painting. Again, I cannot be in resistance to all this shit. Yes. But it's also, a play of each one of us. But the idea is to have painters and have writers and have all creatives. You know, we are all creative people. That's in our being. Look at the baby. Yes. You know, when a baby is is uh, is uh, young, she is so creative, you know, from this to that, and and if she doesn't manage to do what she wants to do, I don't know if she has any will to do. Look at the parent; how he's so happy to see her just painting, yes. and when this girl is eighteen years old. This is good. This is bad. You didn't pass the test of this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's, it's true. It's, it, that, that's not nature, you know. If you go according to your nature, there are people who will like Picasso. There would be people who likes my art. There would be people who likes Leonardo. By my, for me, you know, my art is great, but not to all people. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so I would like to, to ask you, uh, what are your values in life? And if do you express them in the art that you do or, uh, every day? What my values, integrity, um, and freedom. I would say the first one is freedom. Freedom of speech, uh, freedom of, uh, of uh, expression. Uh, lately, I'm uh, in quite a romance with the natural law, which is the real law people some some people call it the the law of the land or the law of of the creator it's any law that is not done by or created by man even the bible a man wrote it you know <laughs> it's not from you know it's not the creation who wrote it it went through the filters of this person who wrote it Yes, and and in the uh, law of of, uh, of the natural law, there is one thing that is kind of most important: don't hurt the other, don't trespass, don't don't uh, don't be a thief, don't kill. 
you know, it's all kinds of, of it's all kinds of colors of theft. Mm-hmm. Because when you kill someone, you 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 are thief of life. You know, you you take someone else's life. In another case, you take someone else's money or someone else's car or someone else's intimacy with her body when you rape her. Mm-hmm. You know, so the idea is, and there are not courts and all kinds of, the court is inside you. You're intelligently, you intelligent enough to understand that when you hurt the other, you basically hurt yourself. So that's my values, real freedom. Uh, very nice. And, and so then you paint them, yes? Or do you project them in your paintings or not? They are not in your paintings, mostly. I mean, you well, try for to... me, well, for me, the ability to really live what the paintings depict is to be, to live those values. I'm not a spiritual artist who, who says X and resonate Y. You know, I'm spiritual from the, from, from, you know, for me, spiritual woman or man is a person who knows the self okay. and merge it in the, you know, it, it's this knowing this eternal identity and merging it with a physical identity in real life, day-to-day physical life, in the, in the, in the world of, of doing. There's a lot of, uh, of, of, there is a big phenomena of people that kind of talk high and, but they resonate, they don't resonate high <laughs> because there needs to be, there needs to be a certain quality, certain resonance, from the mouth and from what you say and what you do. You know, it needs to be one frequency. There cannot be a gap. Like the politicians, you know, for instance. Politicians is talking, 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 talking and doing something to- totally else. That's not integrity. That's not freedom. They are slaved to their own low-frequency ego. Okay. They are slave to the features of control and dominance and power and and uh, and the victims of some the, the, they are doing it to me, that's why I do it to them. So my art really has a value of, I would say, For me, the people who will be uh, magnetized to my art are people who are really in integrity with themselves because it's kind of, um, in Hebrew you say, like something similar to me will be attracted to me. It's kind of the law of attraction, but in the real sense. So people that are not in, in a... They don't have the will or the need to know themselves. Will not be. Will probably not be uh, attracted to my art. They will kind. They will even call it. They can call it schmaltz, or they can call it decorative. Which is all those things are. It it is. Sometimes my art is schmaltz. It is decorative, but they say it or they do it or from a negative or <laughs> criticizing the art, you know, like yes. the, which is all right, but the, we're not in the same frequency range. Yeah, I, I, I understand completely. Children love my art, by the way. 